All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. Uh, you caught me at a weird point. I just got a random stranger walking up to me saying he'd been robbed. Um, I plan to start this video off a little differently, but I figured I'd go ahead and do this. I think this is to the shopkeeper. No, it's going to the bar. Okay, yeah, this dude literally just, the, the dude in the white apron up there just came up to me and said he's been robbed. Go chase this guy. Finally caught him and hogtied him. I'm running back. So you might want to deal with this fella yourself. Yeah, I, I figured I'd catch him. Okay, just kick him in, <laughs> kick him in the face while you're at it. And again, okay. Are we done here? Oh my god. Okay, I think you get more money from uh, catching guys. So, what I want to start this video off with, uh, I did go farming. Literally hunting, actually. Um, I was looking up the best ways to get money. And, uh... Where is weapons? No, it's not weapons I want. Sorry, I was trying to... There it is. Sorry, I was go clicked on the wrong button. Um, I went ahead and bought a bunch of stuff. I literally went farming over and over uh, for probably about an hour. It's the best way to make money by far. Uh, every other way, it seems kind of like iffy on like actually making good money but if you use bait which you can buy from the weapon store or the gunsmith uh you can you can lure in animals and get some coyote pelts and whatnot or just run around and the random encounters in this game are actually really good but we're gonna start this off with irish i believe that's who this is oh my god okay let's not kill people i got told to go to here Yes, boy, you missed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Wait. Keep on talking there, Iris. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Are their so names boys? Welsh, French, and Irish? Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? The bloody cavalry? Dude with a gun. Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Can I just fight this? I ain't gonna take it twice. Oh, you're you're going. Don't worry, old He's going gun right for the guns. Okay. I just want to play things. We can play things Mr. rough. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life, oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. I thought we were gonna fist fight. Trustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. She's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. I'm down. Well, follow me, fella. So I, I really don't know how... It, I, I thought it was a little closer to the uh, storming right, Fort Mercer, but it seems like we got quite a Come bit on, left. Then. Let's find this guy. Yeah. Right, right available right after this, I have a another Bonnie mission, I have a Marshall Johnson mission, and I have a Seth mission. What's Actually, no, I think it's friend? a... John! John Marston! I think that's what I have. Back, you came along, fella. I thought I drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thickest thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind <laughs> of fellas who are stealing egg horn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. 
Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You what best the heck? not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, Once again, I've I'm the gun with men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bit slugs who think they're snakes. I'm the guy with a gun that kills a lot of people. I don't think you want to mess with me. They have the machine gun out and aimed at us? Like, they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. I'll take his word for it. So I'm gonna hop off here. So, by the way, another thing I did do is some challenges. I got up to sharpshooter rank 6. Uh, I did the uh, shoot the birds off, shoot flying birds while on a moving train. Uh, that wasn't too hard. I just had to follow, ride the train around the map for a little bit. Wasn't too bad. But the next one I have, shoot the hats off of two different people's heads. That is very difficult. I've also got uh, Master Hunter. Not too bad. I got the survivalist. Uh, still on Treasure Hunter rank 2. I don't know if I'll mess with that at all. But it's stuff I'm doing off camera. I'm literally just going to keep farming off camera. Just to get as much money as possible. So whenever I need something, I can get it. That's pretty much all I do off camera. None of this game is super difficult, really, so it's it's a fun journey to explore everything Wait, but well, money. Here, Move along. Are you deaf or playing? What the hell? Take down, boy. Oh, there's one. I'm trying to shoot the head hats off people's heads here. Yeah, see, it always ends up being a headshot. See, headshot. Yep, okay. Yep. Dang it. Okay, one more chance. Dang it! I'm trying not to. I think I got one of. Let me let me check that real quick. I think I got one of them, didn't I? Yeah. Dang it! That's a very difficult challenge. I did that for like 20 minutes trying to beat that. Okay, let me go ahead and loot bodies while we're here. Rest in peace, my friend. Well, at least I know I'll be able to complete it. I thought it would take even longer than this to be able to do the two hats. This. Uh, Sharpshooter and Master Hunter are the only ones I'm even going to worry about getting to, to max level. Unless I... I say that, but if you don't know already, um, Legend of the West is an outfit. You need to get to rank 10 in all, all of the... All of these skills, or the... Yeah, the skills. So, like, Master Hunter, Sharpshooter, Survivalist, uh, for You're collecting now, pants. You dumb bastard! Whoa! Get off the park, boy. Yep, okay. It always ends up being a headshot. Let me go ahead and loot his body. Oh, never mind. It's not here. That lion sack is shit. Oh, and the dude ran away. He's not on up top, is he? Ooh, I have I have a lot of honor and I have a lot of fame. It's actually pretty handy. Uh, I think we're gonna head right back to Irish. So the ones I have available, I don't have a Bonnie, sorry. I got that wrong. I have a Nigel West Dickens, an Irish. Oh, he's way down there. I have a Seth, and I have a Marshall Johnson. Um, Who do I want to do first? I might go ahead and do Seth while I'm over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Seth. But I, I guess I can actually show you what I'm speaking of. One of the outfits here, Legend of the West. Attain rank 10 in all ambient challenges. Sorry, I said ranks, but the challenges. 
So I have four of them unlocked. I don't know what the rest of them are. Go. I don't... Uh, I know cer certain outfits give you abilities, like the elegant suit helps you cheat in poker, which I really want. Um, so it might be interesting and actually worthwhile to get it. I have no clue. I'll have to look up, look up what the benefit is of that outfit. There's Seth. Grave Robin again. Great. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses weren't no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he laid with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Let's go! We ain't the only ones with an interest in these here fellers. Wait, what? Okay. It's going to be a shootout. Can't wagon wait to trip, get my hands it? on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna be a shootout wagon trip again. At least this one's easier to control. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Oh, sorry. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I oh, God. I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh my! It's them damn treasure hunters! Try not run them, partner! Fast as you can, partner! Off their feet, bodies, as we go! Okay, the horses are good at keeping on trail. Beedy, beedy, oh, look here! I found me a few bullets! Wanna give them to me? I can use the bullets. So? I guess this is goodbye. Oh, that's just messed up. Hey, this fella's a little ripe. Bet he's got something on him. Oh, don't use the word ripe. Oh, that's nasty. Just going on a little trip. There are some bullets on there. Better than a poke in the eye. You got a perk? It's been a pleasure me. Okay, this freaking gun. I love this gun so much. You're stiff as Relax. I just want a little look-see. Head left at this turn. Where's my map? I'm on. Keep in touch, old pal. Make a left. This all be over soon. It's super easy. I love it. Looks 
track the treasures in Tumbleweed. That's where I was headed. It's fate. Keep going. We're almost there. Hey, you have Drive to Tumbleweed, okay. How are those bodies respawning in the coffin? Yeah, I doubt that's gonna work. I Thanks, doubt mister. you're gonna be rich. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're yeah. done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. Oh, I think we're done After with the Seth missions then. Mister. We must be getting close to the fort then. Oh no, there is a, a, another immediate Seth mission. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Try to get as many done as we can in this part. Let's go ahead and do Seth. Probably gonna be searching for the treasure mission. Then we'll go down and do Irish and then Nigel West Dickens. Let's see what he wants. I can see him right there digging another grave. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, <laughs> the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Hey, Seth. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh... You know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. to worry about that sharpshooter challenge I'm, later. I've been trying to get the headshots. No, no, no. Do something, mister. They're Dude, they're not going to take anything. Go home, buddy. I'm I'm here for a reason cuz I'm the I can't lose that treasure. Not now. You best gunslinger help. in the world. Please, they find it. Dude, it's all good. This one's locked. Let's check the back. We gotta climb up. Oh, check the basement. I thought we were gonna climb up, but nope, going down. I might switch to a pistol then. Go on! We 
ain't got much time. We're in luck. Find the treasure. Jesus, what? Oh, I can be very low. Very low. Hey, you're completely missing over there. Oh, I did it. Oh, my lord. Trying to get headshots, but I actually got the challenge. I like them better dead. I'm surprised I got that. Okay, first off, sorry, I got a quick second. I want to see what the next challenge is. Kill three bears each with one shot. Oh, we're going to need a big gun for that. I don't even think I have it unlocked yet. Like, what that, what, what's it called? The buffalo rifle? Because it's going to be have to have, have to be a headshot with the strongest rifle, probably. That's going to be a tough one. Okay, let's head up. Don't let him get my treasure, mister! Can I go in this room? Stop doing that! Dude, I'm getting, getting stuck on every object. That's it, partner! Smoke him! What the hell? Look out, amigo! Look out. I hope you got money for a few! You can't kill it all! Oh no, he's not gonna... There we go. Dude, you did nothing. Oh, it's the dude I shot earlier. Nice. I'm racking up in money. So just doing the missions themselves actually pays pretty good too. But if you don't want to do missions for a big time being... If you don't want to do missions, you can just go hunting. Pretty easy. <laughs> Finally, I see the light. It's gonna be nothing, this isn't it? Long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, Mister. God damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> uh, don't don't roast him, John. <laughs> That's on gold for it. Stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. And dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. Okay, about time. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Okay. So we got Irish, Nigel West Dickens, and Marshall Johnson left. Let's get the freak out of here. Can I get out the front door now? There we go. So, while I'm here, I actually do want to look at this. Because I, I bought these once I... I had a lot of money at a certain... I think I had, like, almost $800. And I just bought a bunch of stuff. Like, a uh, survivalist map. I want to see what these are, though. Displays all towns, settlements, landmarks, and hideouts in Chola Springs. Allows fast travel from a camp. So I want to use both of these, and I have one for Gaptooth Ridge as well. And that is a that is a a feature I've not used once yet. Um, actually setting up a camp and fast traveling. So far, I've I've used uh, I've been using just the two main places. Uh, one in McFarland's Ranch and one in Armadillo. The properties you can buy for like nothing. So, we're closest to Irish, so we'll head to that one first. There we go. I also have a deed for a war horse that I think you get just at the beginning of the game. But I have not used it yet because I'm really worried about these horses dying. 
And this is a pretty good horse right now anyways, so I don't care that much. The main thing I gotta find is where the freaking horse races are, because those are the things I want. I want to take part in more of those. Last time we had a wagon race, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I just, I just shot that one in the head. For society, fellas. There, nice honor. Come on. Honor's a lot easier to get than fame. Is he trying to escape on me? There we go, Irish. Oh, he's in jail again, isn't he? This is where Moses was. Who do you hunt? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, You'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Yes, I very much would like the gun now. Let's get this over with. Come on, Dad. We'll find your precious gun. You said that already. You've already said that once, and you lied to me. You better not be lying this time, because I'll, I'll just shoot him myself. I can find a gun. Honestly, why do we even need it? I can just take Let's out go. everybody. One run of dead eye will take out everybody. Of the You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between Pear and Medlin. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. <laughs> it's worse like <laughs> that, good one. old fella. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I, I feel like I've been life. fairly cordial. You me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. <laughs> Only telling you what okay. I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. <laughs> Yeah, I like Irish. I was hating on him there for a second, but... Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. I actually like Irish. The dialogue in this game is actually, like, just freaking funny. I hope uh, Red Dead 2 is like this. 
Once the again, no experience with it. See, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. That's oh, so I gotta do I'll all the work by myself again. Find place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Yes, that's a good idea, because I'll kill him. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Why? I don't even need Dead Eye for this. Open fire! Well, I need Dead Eye for that. This ain't nice. I know. Get all this money. Let me get my Winchester repeater out with the insane amount of ammo I have. Headshots. more of you guys because geez excuse me partner. I want to keep looting for money fresh. here any money is good money and I technically still get fame and honor for this technically they shot first Sick, so there's TNT you can blow up periodically. Just so happens to be around the miners. Oh, hopefully it doesn't collapse the place. I didn't think about that. Oh, wait. Can I just... Oh, I didn't blow up the core. Okay. Nope, I gotta take a left path. and reload. Oh, dang it. All right, let's see. There we go. I think I shot the gun out of this guy's hand. Might be wrong about that what it looked like, at least. Kiss my oh, okay. I did not know you could do that. Let's back up and, uh... Shoot this TNT if I can here. Did that not blow up the TNT? I don't want to get near the TNT, to be honest. Uh, dang it. I don't like this. What have we got here? Very good shot in this game. I'm gonna 
kill you! Keep looting on the way. I could take up high and just stay shooting up there, but eh, let's actually get closer. We go. Let me loot bodies. Excuse me, mister. Inspect the minecart. Oh, it, it is actually here. I didn't believe Irish for a second. I thought it was going to be another dupe. That's actually worth it then. Okay. And it was a good fight all the way through. Uh, we're going to have to push it and then... Uh, Still gonna have to shoot our way down, aren't we? Oh, nice, we have the gun. I only need the sidearm, really. the guys at if I can use the sidearm okay that was pretty sick so is it here with the cart or the lift I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lift load up and I'll engage the gears Okay, this worked out better than I thought it would. I really thought it was going to be another dupe by Irish. Him cheating us out of it. But no, this worked good. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the trade? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down. Don't oh, let go of her. She's a beast. Dang it. Okay. Oh, no. Looks out pretty good, then. Okay, I thought I really wanted more guys to shoot at there. Honestly, that was fun. A little roller coaster while you're shooting guns. Short we ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. And we're gonna have another gunfight to get into it. I'm doing all the heavy lifting. This dude's useless. All the gunfighting. Sure doesn't fall off on the way. So I'm protecting. Oh no, he's he's taking it. Really, you trust him with with your big important gun? Honestly, pretty surprising. Okay. Come on. So we have another Irish mission, and we have Nigel West Dickens. Who's closest? Oh, Irish is all the way in Thieves Landing. I need to go over there eventually, anyways. So for now, we're gonna do Nigel West Dickens. 
Nigel West Dickens, and then we'll go to uh, Marshall Johnson. If everything's going good. Because I still want to do the American Appetites, which is right next to Marshall Johnson. That means I need to clear out Marshall Johnson first. I was a little worried. I got a comment on it about up on the first part anyways. Oh, this is... Okay. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I, I kept my gun on their head. I should have just used Deadeye. Why did I not do that? I need to use like, utilize Deadeye way more. I'm hardly using it. I even have items to refill the meter very quickly, and I still never use it. Let's run that back. I want to shoot all those guys with Deadeye. Wait, I'm back in. Hey, Mister, is there anything of yours you'd like to? Okay, so I still, I still, I still save my progress, thank God. But I just go back to my latest house, which is the one in Armadillo. Look out, Mister. That kind of sucks. But at least I kept my progress. You know what? I'm here. Let's do Marshall Johnson first. Go ahead and do Marshall Johnson. Then we'll head down clue. to uh Alright, what's gonna be something to do with that government boy? We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Oh Who? no. Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child. Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any Bonnie missions after the fire, but now it makes sense. I'll teach you some respect for the law. <laughs> Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Yep, okay, let's go slaughter a bunch of people. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Whoa, man. Come on. Right, let's go get Miss McFarland back. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. 
That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why's this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slip. So that's their right-hand man? Are you serious? That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. <laughs> there we go. Use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean. Hey, Tumbleweed Tumbleweed. is where I went with Seth, now isn't it? Now that. Pretty soon everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I think that is where we went with Seth for the, I uh... just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. That's a fair point. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals also, are like weeds, Also Marston. a fair point. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. Don't worry, my boys know how to treat a lady. Yeah. Can I just shoot him now? Start a shootout anyways. I hope they haven't spotted her yet. I ain't had my turn. I kill all three of you myself, I swear! Tumbleweeds across the bridge! Surprised that bridge can even hold us all. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I Get her to safety and just come back in and kill everybody. Fair. fair, my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Honestly, yeah, just get Bonnie to safety John, and you just shoot everybody. Into town and make the exchange. Come on, let's get going. You get yours, you son of a bitch. Don't make me put a hole in you. Move. All right, I'm moving. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it. Oh, I see Some a dude up on a church. Wolf. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Yeah, man, this ain't good. Get 
to reload. We just want money! Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I gotta shoot the rope. Dude, no, I'm gonna kill these guys. I think I got him. Oh, that's a good guy. Okay. Untie Bonnie. There we go. Oh, no. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm going to lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> okay. At least she's safe. A little bruised and battered. That sucks. We loot some bodies here. To the victor, the sport. Lots of ammo. Lots of ammo and lots of money. What I say, I know I know there was more than this. the guys up here there they are so did I did I take out Deke I honestly can't even tell you if I took out Deke I was trying to the heck is that it's a little buggy it's not too bad of a game though why is uh oh that's just because the marker I was like why is Nigel West Dickens icon pink now well uh, I think we're going to call it here for this part. Um, next time we'll carry off with Irish. Oh, we'll go to Nigel West Dickens first. And then we'll uh, see if what other missions we have available. And we'll head up to uh, Irish at Thieves Landing and do the Stranger Encounter anyways while we're up there. I want to check out the place anyways because that's where you can buy some of the suits that are available. Well, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.